<laughs> before the game earlier, and I noticed his shoes. And what I noticed about his sneakers, mm, nice three-point shot there before I go there. Yeah. He wears the same size as you? We might wear the same size as you. <laughs> Man, look at those things. And it helps you recover. I mean, even at that age, I think recovery is as important because of the late nights. I'm sure these young men spend playing Fortnite and all of the other <laughs> games that are out there, Madden, 2K or whatnot, and not getting the proper rest. Put back is up and in after Sammy Scott missed the shot. Malachi Langley with the follow. Now it's Jermaine Buckner. Buckner from Jackson, Michigan. Three-point try is up for Curtis Williams and on the money for the Redford, Michigan player, Curtis Williams. Right? Yeah, I that's believe it. that is the same. <laughs> well, I need Curtis to give me a little grin, though. That's it, something. Don't shoot it off the backboard from there and act like, yeah, like you're you doing it. Exactly. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> Wisdom Rogers. And I think we call that a big boy move. Yes, yes. we do. And that is an and one as well for Wisdom Rogers from Waldorf, Maryland. It's really a lost art. It really is. Midwest has an early rebounding edge, 13-11. There's Sammy Scott inside again, showing off the handles. The strong build allows him to absorb the contact, finish through it. Sammy Scott misses. Rodgers may have got a piece of the shot. Rodgers now centers the fast break. The kick out to a wide open Sonny Wilson for a corner three-pointer. Now it's Jacoy Hutchinson. Leads in transition. He scores and is fouled. And one Another th and one. One thing we're, I'm noticing and uh, we, we all here witnessing is the body control that these young men have at this age. Get into the paint, attack, 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 try to get to the free throw line. And we're seeing that not only from his guards, but it, from his wings and, and his, his bigs as well. So that is their mentality. Langley with again. the Euro step and he scores inside again yeah, in attack is, mode. Yeah, that's what it is. They're in attack mode and that's just their mentality. They just hit, hit, hit and come, run after you, come after you, come after you. Langley went for the steal, came back and got the steal against Ty Rogers. Leak out, scoring to Mark Curtis Jr. Terrific defense yes. again to not make that ball become gluey, to just stop right. when it gets into his hands because there's been a, some great flow with him on the bench. You want to keep that going even as the star player. Turnaround shot is missed. Offensive rebound then lost. Ty Rogers leads the break for Team Midwest, takes it inside. Bucket and a foul. Big time, big time move his career, ever since the third or fourth grade. Here's Walker. Nice pass, and it's finished by Kalen Cobb. Head up, seeing what's available. He stepped out of the game in foul trouble. The level of intensity stepped up to the next match, so all he had to do was come back into the game and be the dominant player that he is. Rodgers with a slam, off the steal. Right hand flush for Ty Rogers. And 77-61 is the final. Mid-Atlantic with the win over Team Midwest. And Mid-Atlantic 2-0 so far in pool play with one game to play tomorrow afternoon. At the Junior NBA World Championship, we're not done for the night. Vince and Donnie will be with me for a final word right after this on FS1.